Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. This is a special video. We are celebrating nine amazing years with Madam Glam. I am going to be using all eight colors from their newest line, the newest collection they put out, especially for their nine year anniversary. Madam Glam is vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free volume, not volume formula, meaning they don't use like 21 of the most common toxins found in um, other polishes. For the most part, everything that I use in this video is from Madam Glam. The Builder Gel there is not though. I used um, Savvy Land because I did not have any more clear from um, clear builder gel from Madame Glam unfortunately and I do use um, a type of plasticine it's a sculpting gel I do use that I don't know the name of the company I cannot recall the name of the company of that one I'll try my best to, to find it and I will link that in the description box below so Madame Glam was gracious enough to send me four of the eight colors I used. The four colors they sent me were Always and Forever, Fire Sign, Glam Element, and Daystar. And then with my VIP points, I used, I, I used them for the others. So yeah, I, <laughs> this whole set was definitely a trust the process but I was trying to make those, uh, like I said, the bubble nail trend, and I haven't done them before, so I was like, why not try here? Anniversaries, birthdays, they're all about surprises, so we will both be surprised if it turned out the way I wanted it to. The bubbles didn't, so I improvised, and you'll see that later on. So I'm, I'm creating the boxes here, or not boxes, but the box. I wanted to um, do a Madam Glam box. What is an event? What is a celebration, an anniversary, a birthday without a gift box or a gift bag? So I had to make them a box. I had to make them a pretty little package. And that's what I am working on here in my almost four day trust the process. I'm doing some uh, well right there I'm trying to pick it up but made some little cylinders with a black plasticine I trying to create um, I was creating miniature Madame Glam polish bottles I was proud with how they came out so this right here is what I was probably one of the most proud of I just loved how it turned out I wanted to do a glamorous tissue paper for their gift and I started out with the cellophane as you saw and I put the no wipe top coat and then I used Winston or the Winston which is from uh, their sixth anniversary which I believe that was the lust yes lust anniversary and then after that after I cured it of course I did I went back in with another layer of the clear coat the no wipe top coat and that's what I'm doing here when it came out when I took it off of that cellophane I was like wow like, <laughs> I want to make it again in a much larger scope I'm not going through my Madame Glam polish for it but I am gonna make it a much bigger scope I think it would be really nice as a, like a cute little bowl or something. Anyways, has nothing to do with the nose. This is me assembling the uh, gel bottle, the polish bottle. All of this part, and when I'm doing the writing later on, this was all close to midnight. I was exhausted. I am really sh like just shocked that it came out the way that it did. Happy shocked. Let me just say that, happy shocked.
So I wanted to make these bottles as close as I possibly could to um, the, the real thing. And do you remember, I don't know if they do it anymore, but do you remember those people? Um, I think it was really popular back in the late 90s. I can't remember, but um, they used to write somebody's name with rice. I have mad respect for them. Again, I was doing this around midnight, so that might have made it worse on my eyes, but I was like, Dad, how do they do it so perfectly on a little grain of rice? Anyway, so I, I really do like the gel polish and I love the gel paint from Madam Glam however for this purpose I like using their um, pudding gel it's a lot thicker and it just stays in place so I had more than enough time to sit there and play around or well, not play around but you know just take my time with the writing um, I'm using the ultra 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 the ultra liner and um i mean i was up on that tiny little thing because i was thinking you know as soon as the first bristle touches it then i make my swipe and keep it moving carefully taking these off and then i you know just follow it down on the bottom so it's not rough but this will show you the scope or the scale I mean, those things are tiny. This is one of those trust the process moments that just had me very happy. Now all of those black pieces I, I was showing you, I'm putting them together now. And I originally, it's like that because I originally wanted it to flip open and uh, it wasn't working for me again just like with the bubbles you'll see it, the end result was different but um i think it worked out i liked it i like how it turned out and then also if you want to create a box like what i just did even though you won't really see those open gaps on this on the corners because of the tissue paper ex polish explosion I made but you want to have some sort of a gap because you want to make sure that when you assemble it later that the LED lamp or UV lamp or if you're using a lamp to cure you, you want to make sure that enough light gets into it to see all right so I put my tips on and I painted my pinky, my middle, and my thumb black. And these were supposed to be the bubble nails that I, um, I was going to <laughs> hopefully turn into cute little balloons. Didn't work out. I did, uh, I, I opted for the sprinkles. And it, it worked out pretty good. So this is, yeah, this is a sin for builder gel and you never ever stir builder gel because you don't want the bubbles but for this I wanted the bubble so I stirred and I stirred and I stirred and I got the bubbles I wanted yeah so I'm doing the, the sprinkles but I wanted to be able to see the bubbles better so I went on ahead and top coated which I would have normally done at the end but I wanted to see it better and I'm glad I did because in order to get the straighter lines for this that I wanted with the sprinkles when the top coat was on it made it so much easier again you cannot have any kind of celebration without surprises so this was a big surprise to me it wasn't exactly what I was going for, but it turned out great for me, in my opinion, from my, what I liked. I, I was happy. I was like, yeah, this is a celebration. This is confetti. This is sprinkles. This is, this is fun. And you can still see the, uh, 
the bubbles, so I was happy about that. And I used every single color of the eight colors on the sprinkle nails, sprinkle confetti nails. The pinky and the middle finger, I used four colors each. So combined, it's still all four of the Madame Glam House of Fun collection for July. On the pinky, I used Fire Sign, Electra, Glam Element, and Daystar. And then I um, did the Velvet Matte top coat. For the middle finger, I did Celestial Jungle, Eden Garden, Always and Forever, and Lucky Number Nine. Again, Velvet Matte top coat. The thumb, also Velvet Matte top coat. Now it's time to assemble everything. Get all of the stuff together. It was around this time when I realized, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make that box flip. So I improvised. I am going to show you just the M, me doing the M, but you'll see the, the finished thing. What I like to do when I'm um, using glitter in this way is I like to use a really thick rhinestone glue, gel glue, rhinestone gel glue. And um, that's what I'm doing here. And I, was this the long? No, I'm still using the ultra liner from Madame Glam. This is one of my favorite ones. Like, I, oh, their brushes are phenomenal, and especially the liner brushes. If you, um, if I mean, yeah, you could do it with anything. You could use do this whole process with anything. But I just, I really like the the rhinestone glue gel because it stays in place and I like to while I'm doing before the flash cure I mean I like to just let it sit I did everything one at a time but I went back and just covered it with the glitter for effect but anyway so these are the nails this is it I'm done happy birthday happy anniversary madam glam thank you for everything you do for us Thank you for letting me take part in this celebration with you. For anyone who is not a VIP member of Madam Glam, you can use my code during checkout. Go to their website, madamglam.com. My code is BU35 for a 35% discount. B-E-Y-O-U and then the number 35. I did a little surprise. Happy nine years. So that's it. Again, Madam Glam, thank you so much for letting me take part in this. To my Madam Glam representative, initials IP, thank you for considering me for this. I love you all. Happy nine anniversary to you. Bye.